Okay, let's talk about an easy way to add fractions. So if you uh, struggle with fractions, that's pretty normal. Unfortunately, a lot of students don't like fractions. I'm sure I was one of them way back in the good old days, but you have to learn how to be very uh, uh, skilled at adding fractions, subtracting fractions, multiplying and dividing fractions. So let's take a look at this problem here real quick. So we have two fifths plus one third. So what is, um, you know, we look at these bottom numbers down here, we call these the denominators. And uh, hopefully most of you out there are recognizing that we can't add these fractions the way they are, okay? Because they do not have the same denominator. So we're gonna have to find the lowest common denominator, change these fractions and add them. So if that kind of like intimidates you, if you're like, oh, I hate doing that, well, I get that, and I'm gonna show you a technique where you can bypass the LCD and just simply um, get the answer right 100% of the time. You're gonna love this technique if you haven't seen it already uh, um, from my other videos, because I teach this quite frequently. This procedure works for both adding and subtracting fractions. So I'm gonna get into this in just one second, but uh, first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are struggling in mathematics, I've been teaching math for decades, and I like to uh, really teach math in a super clear and understandable uh, way. So I really kind of explain math so anyone and everyone can learn. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, I could definitely help you out in your math courses. If you're preparing for any sort of test that has a math section on it, I have a huge library of test prep courses you definitely want to check out. If you homeschool, I have outstanding uh, homeschool math courses. And if you need some math notes, and everyone should have a good pair of math notes to study from, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. So we have two-fifths plus one-third. If you know how to do this problem, go ahead and pause the video, put your answer into the comment section, and we'll see how uh, you do in just one second. Okay, so let's get to it. So we have um, the LCD way of doing this problem. And this is where uh, most of you have already kind of learned. Hey, you have to find the LCD, change these fractions. If this is beyond where you're at right now in math, then you're going to have to go back and maybe even do some more basic work with fractions. So let's go ahead and add these fractions, finding the, um, finding the LCD. So my first question to you, what is the LCD? What's the lowest common denominator? So we have five and three. We can't add these fractions the way they are. Okay, so let's just kind of do a quick, quick review. So for example, if I had two fifths and I want to add that to one fifth, I can add these fractions because these denominators are the same. Okay, so the answer would be five, and then we would simply add the numerators. That would be two plus one or three fifths. Okay, everyone uh, hopefully remembers that you can add these fractions because the denominators are the same. But I'm looking at this problem, I got five and I got three, these denominators are not the same. That's why you have to find uh, what we call a common denominator and we want to find the lowest common denominator. So that's uh, the whole idea behind the LCD. So let's go ahead and first of all, determine what is the LCD between these two um, fractions. Well, it is 15. Now, how you find the LCD, I have additional videos in my pre-algebra playlist on my YouTube channel that can really get into this, but a lot of students don't know how to find the LCD. I don't, I don't wanna um, add that in to this video, it just make this video longer than it needs to be. But the LCD in this particular problem is 15. Now, again, if you're confused about the LCD, that's a separate individual topic in and of itself, and um, you definitely want to learn how to find the LCD when you have various different uh, denominators. Now, real quick, if I these right, uh, denominators are very easy to determine the LCD, so a lot of you might be overconfident. Like, I know how to find the LCD, but if I give you something like this, oh, I don't know, 108 plus 5 over 762, Okay, and I said, what is the LCD? A lot of you may have this kind of expression on your face. You're like, you know, uh, I, I don't know how to do that problem or it would be very difficult. So again, this technique I'm going to show you here in a second it will help you uh, bypass, you know, having to deal with an LCD that's larger. But again, you need to know how to find the LCD. All right, so let's go ahead and convert these fractions such that 
the denominators are uh, 15, which is the lowest common denominator, right? 15 is LCD for these particular fractions. Okay, so what do we do here? Well, a quick review, right? So to turn this fraction right here uh, into a denominator that is 15, I need to multiply it by 5. Okay, so you're like, okay, 3 times 5, that gives me 15. That's what I want. But since I multiplied the denominator by 5, I also got to multiply the numerator by 5. So 5 times 1 is 5. So 5 fifteenths is the same thing as 1 third. We just wrote it uh, differently with the denominator of 15. Okay, so how about this uh, fraction here? I have a 5, so to turn that into 15, I need to multiply by 3. So uh, I have to also have to multiply the numerator by 3. So 3 times 2 is 6. So 6 fifteenths is the same thing as 2 fifths, and 5 fifteenths is the same thing as 1 third. I'm just rewriting these fractions such that they have a denominator of 15. Okay? All right, so now we have the same denominator, the lowest common denominator, so we're just simply going to add the numerators. So that's 6 plus 15 is 11 fifteenths. Okay, so you can see for a lot of you out there, you just like don't want to go through all the work and doing this stuff, but it's important that you understand how to do this, okay? And this is the same procedure you, you would use to uh, subtract fractions as well. Okay, so that is like the LCD way, and you know maybe we can think of it as the hard way. So now comes to the good part. Let's do this the easy way. And this particular method, I like to call the bow tie method, like a bow tie if someone was wearing a little tie, a little stick figure tie like this. It looks like a bow tie. Just remember this shape right there, and you'll be good to go. Okay, so here is the pattern that we're going to do. It's going to be this, this way this way and this way. So you can see it kind of looks like that little bow tie shape. And now uh, let's get to it. Okay, so here's exactly what you do. You start from the bottom right and you multiply. Okay, so three times two is what? That is six. Actually, let me use this different color. So three times two is six. This is an addition problem, so you're going to put a plus sign. Now we're going to go this way, five times one. And by the way, it has to be in this exact order. This is the first thing you do. This is the second thing you do. And then if it's a plus, if it's an addition problem, you put a plus sign. So five times one is five. And then that forms our numerator. And to get our denominator, we just multiply this way. Five times three is 15. And take a look at this. Six plus five is 11. We have 11 over 15. And that is exactly what we have over here. But look how super easy this is, okay? This is an awesome technique, okay? So, again, this works with both adding fractions and subtracting fractions. And it also works with mixed number fractions as well. So let's take a look at this problem. So if I had 2 and 1 third plus 1 half, you're like, well, how do I, you know, use this technique here? Well, let's go ahead and change this mixed number fraction into an improper fraction. That's going to be 3 times 2, 6 plus one is seven thirds. So I have seven thirds plus one half. Now I can just go ahead and use that bow tie technique. So two times uh, seven, that's 14, plus three times one is three, okay, over three times two is six, and there you go. This would be 17 over six. That is the final answer. Okay, so hopefully you're like, okay, that's pretty cool, right? You know, like, uh, you know, uh, this will help me in my fraction adventures, and it will, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, this is critical. I don't want to um, go beyond this video, but you really want to practice this technique, and you can also use this with uh, algebraic problems as well. So, for example, let me show you real quick. Let's just do something. If I had x over y plus uh, z over 3, you're like, oh boy, how do I deal with that? Well, we could just use that bow tag technique right there. So that's 3 times x, 3x, plus y times z, yz, over y times 3, and that would be 3y. There is your answer. So again, this works with algebra stuff as well. Okay, so if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. If you like my teaching style, I've been on YouTube for a long time, 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math and everything uh, in between. So please take advantage of my uh, videos if you like my teaching style. Okay, I make these videos uh, to really help out those of you out there that are struggling with mathematics. But my 
best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.